listening to realagriculture.com. Get real or get connected. Research out of Kansas is hoping to lay the groundwork for the creation of celiac safe wheat so that, as Kansas Wheat Commission suggests, celiacs might be able to have their wheat and eat it too. To talk about it, we're joined by Engrain Senior Director of Research, Chris Miller. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Oh, good. <laughs> Busy. So what exactly does it take to lay the groundwork for celiac safe wheat? Yeah, so the initial steps of the research really um, rely on trying to identify the exact um, and very specific components of the wheat protein um, that relate um, to the celiac disease reactivity. So that's that is the foundation of the of the research, and in order to um, eliminate those uh, reactive fragments of the protein. Um, you have to identify those um, first. And that's what you're so, working on doing right now? That's correct, yep. So how are you doing that? How are you going to identify those proteins? Yep, so <clears throat> it's actually uh, straightforward biochemistry, um, but we use a technique where we um, extract the proteins from the wheat seed, and so we, we basically just take some wheat seeds and grind them into flour, and um, we'll extract the the seed protein, which includes the, the gluten-forming proteins, and then using an antibody reaction, we'll use a human celiac disease antibody um, that will react with the proteins um, in the, in the gluten-forming proteins, and then we can identify each of the reactive uh, fragments um, kind of using that antibody approach. That's a, a simple version of, of the research. I mean, it's a complicated uh, thing, but it's basically how we'll go about doing it. So how long until we can expect to see a celiac-friendly wheat variety? Oh, yeah, that that's the million-dollar question. Um, uh, if I had a million dollars, I think it would be uh, quicker maybe, but um, <laughs> no, reality is it takes time. So it's about two years, I, what we're estimating, two years just in this discovery phase of learning about the proteins in wheat. And then uh, if you look at wheat variety development, uh, just a regular, you know, uh, normal run-of-the-mill wheat variety, uh, you're looking at, you know, 8 to 10 years um, of development work to get a new variety on the market. Um, this would be a pretty special thing. Um, so I can't imagine it would be any sooner than than that. So you're, you're really looking at maybe 10 years out. Mm -hmm. Already. Conservatively. Yep. Well, good luck with your research, Chris, and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>